I really want to know the Dobson family. They've been involved for a long time. How long have they been involved? And why is why you've continued to, you know, volunteer your time at Giffen? Well, I started uh, when my grandson was born in 2002 and he started playing for Giftock uh, when he was five years of age. And I used to go and watch him uh, playing five-a-side football and uh, eventually moved on to seven-a-side and all that sort of stuff, but, uh, and went on to 11-a-side. And then Alan, my son, was on the committee at the time and we built the, the Astro at uh, St Ninian's High School and then we took over Norwood Playing Fields. Um, and um, I was a finance director with the building contractors and I retired. And my son thought it'd be a good idea that as I lived across the road from Norwood, that I would come across and uh, project manage uh, Norwood. Uh, was the, the Norwood building was a complete derelict building and there were no windows, nothing in it at all. And the pitches were a mess. The club spent over a quarter of a million pounds doing up the pitches. And then with all my contacts, the building trade, I managed to get Norwood into some sort of shape. And one of the contacts, of course, was my wonderful son-in-law, uh, Gary Miller, who had his own but the joinery business. So he helped out to bring it up to a certain standard. From then on, I was uh, uh, down at uh, Norwood for about nine years. Uh, uh, the, the, face the place became quite famous. Uh, for its hospitality and for its ambience. It helped a lot of people. Uh, so a lot of people worked in the cafe, did various works, volunteer works down there as well uh, to keep the place nice and tidy. And uh, then I got my, my grandson was then playing for the club right up until he was about 18. And then he went to university. So he decided that uh, he needed some money. So he now works part-time for the club and uh, looks after... Alt House now, so and, and I, I look after the Alt House with the cafe and make sure everything doesn't is kept nice and spick and span. Uh, my aim is to make this uh, a really good venue for people to come to and to enjoy it and to make it safe and and everybody should come in here and say what a place and uh, that is my aim to make it as good as possible. So I guess you've been here for so long. And it'd been easy to walk away, but how does it make you feel being a part of such a big club? Well, I think I'd I, I played football all my life, uh, right up until I was 57 years of age. And uh, once I retired, uh, I had nothing to do, really. I, I got my house in order, my, my, my garden in order. But um, uh, then this came along, and it's ideal from my point of view because it keeps me active. Um, I started the walking football, but uh, unfortunately some of the younger guys in the walking football were too good for me, so I just took, took a back step, step back from it. And uh, but um, I'm 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 totally involved with the club. I mean, I I do all the fixtures and the the pitch allocations, etc. And for, you know, we've now got 38 teams, uh, 11 aside and nine aside, and it's it's huge, huge, huge club. And uh, I regard all the people in the club as my friends. If you could describe Giffnock in one sentence, what would it be? Uh, community, um, that, that community. It's a community. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a family, a family of, of all, all, all ages, all shapes, all sizes, um, and it's and everybody comes together and we all work together in the family.